We love alternatives. We love lots of choices. Or do we? Having too few choices makes us feel boxed in and trapped. Having too many choices messes with our heads. The reality is we like having choices when we're faced with a less than ideal situation. But we sometimes get paralyzed when we have to choose between too many similar choices. Why is that the case? It's because we're afraid of making bad decisions. We're afraid because we violate law number five, the law of focus. We focus on what could go wrong instead of focusing on what could go right. So what's the solution? The solution is to change our focus. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start focusing on what could go right. The secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. We also talked about changing our mindset about fear way back in law number four, the law of change. Fear can either be forget everything and run or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. Many times we blow our fears out of proportion. Most of the stuff we worry about never happens. We're afraid of losing if we make the wrong choice. To recap, there are two kinds of fear. Fear that protects us from danger for good reasons is good fear. Fear that paralyzes us unnecessarily is bad fear. When we feel afraid, what should we do? We should fall back on our old friend, the stop method. When you feel fear, remember to stop. Even if it's just for an instant, think, observe, and then proceed. Be sure to set a reasonable time limit on your thinking so that you don't fall into the trap of overthinking. Another aspect to consider is that we're often afraid that if we make the right choice that will allow us to win, and it may wind up hurting someone else and causing them to lose. Until number 14 looks at this a little differently. Until number 14 states, until we learn that it's possible for everyone to win and that others don't have to lose in order for us to win, we will never achieve our maximum potential and evolve as a species. In other words, not only is it possible for us to win, it's possible for everyone else to win as well. No one has to lose. Everyone can win. When you're faced with a situation where you think someone else has to lose in order for you to win, go back to the stop method. Stop, even if for a brief instant, think about possible alternatives where not only you can win, but everyone else can win as well. Observe the situation in greater detail. Then proceed with implementing a win-win alternative where everyone wins. As a lawyer, I'm frequently asked to put together business deals on behalf of my clients. I always, always, always try to come up with solutions where not only will my client win, but where the other parties can win as well. That's one of the things my clients like about me. I don't have a win at all costs mentality. Instead, I have an everyone can win mentality. When it's time for you to decide, don't try to make perfect decisions. Just try to make excellent ones. Trying to make perfect decisions is almost impossible to do and it wastes time and energy. And that would be violating concept number nine about allocating our resources wisely. Here's the truth of the situation. Most of the time, it doesn't matter what we have for dinner. Whatever choice we make will work out just fine. Don't try to make perfect decisions. Just try to make good ones. This is what we want to avoid. Realize that if your decisions turn out to be less than ideal, you can always make adjustments. If it doesn't turn out as well as you hoped, don't beat yourself up. Just learn from the situation and do better next time. Law number 14, the law of alternatives, doesn't help you decide which choice to make. Instead, 
It alerts you to always be on the lookout for choices because they're always there. Always. Here's what law number 14 says. There are always alternatives. Always. One must open their mind to the possibility of said alternatives and look for them at every opportunity. There is always a way around. There is always a way over. There is always a way through. Look for the win-win at every opportunity. In plain English, there's always a way around. There's always a way over. There's always a way through. Look for the win-win at every opportunity. Even more plainly, there are always alternatives. Always. Look for them at every opportunity. What does that mean? It means that when you encounter an obstacle, there is always a way over, under, or through it. Look for that way. When dealing with others, look for the win-win at every opportunity. It's almost always there, so look for it. You don't have to be boxed in. Your opponent doesn't have to be boxed in. It's possible for everyone to win, if that's what everyone wants. Your opponent doesn't always have to lose in order for you to win. You don't always need to make enemies. Try to make allies instead. There is always a better way. We must learn to look for the better way. We can do that by changing our perspective and realizing it's our privilege to look for that better way. The law of alternatives could easily be called the law of choices. By being flexible, you give yourself more choices. By giving yourself more choices, you make yourself more powerful. Positive or negative? Happy or sad? Good or evil? Open-minded or closed-minded? Tolerant or intolerant? Accepting or rejecting? Scarcity or abundance? To grow or not grow? To improve or not improve? To be part of the solution or part of the problem? To be a leader or a follower. The choice is yours. By incorporating law number 14, the law of alternatives into our lives, we will be creating a society where everyone can win because its members will realize that others do not have to lose in order for them to win. A better world is possible. It's a work in progress, but it will be a masterpiece once it's done. It's up to you. It's up to me. It's up to us. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Are you ready for more? If so, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified as I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Be sure to watch the videos all the way to the end as the stuff at the end is usually just as important as the stuff in the beginning, if not more. With that said and done, it's time for you to move on to the next video in the playlist. Concept number 15, creating a balanced life.